Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learnhyphenomission.com. This is not a regular tutorial video. Today in this video, I'm not going to teach anything, but this video is all about the assignments. Today, I'm going to give you some assignments that you can follow and you can submit, which I will help you to review. Okay, I will review, I will provide feedback and comments and you can again improve. So whatever we have done so far with Playwright, okay, so, so far uh, from day one till day 14, we have covered almost uh, basic and intermediate which is bare minimum concept that you need in order to automate any application and based on the concept that I have covered I want to give you certain assignments which you have to submit again it's optional but I would recommend definitely please try to complete these exercises try to complete this assignment that will give you more confidence see the problem with videos is the moment you watch videos everything looks very easy you found it's very easy because See, the moment I teach, I have been doing this multiple times, right? I record, before record, I do practice. So when I record video, it looks very easy. But the moment you start practicing, you will start getting a lot of questions. You will start getting a lot of doubts. And trust me, each questions will bring you a new concept. Every doubt, every exception, every error will teach you something new, which will help you in your learning journey. So trust me, if you're not writing the code, you're not learning anything. It is just you're getting some false belief that is, yes, I know Playwright, I know Selenium. But the moment you write the code, that causes a real experience. Okay, this is exactly what I want to give you. Now, uh, just to keep it simple, I will give you one application and some scenarios. But you can follow any other application and you can do the same thing. But I would recommend stick to this application for the time being so that once I will publish the solutions, you can compare. So. I will be giving multiple scenarios you pick one scenario automate then go to second go to third and so on don't try to complete everything in one go you have to bring the discipline motivation will not last maybe you will do today for three hours because a weekend but again Monday you will stop so do it consistently set for five days five scenarios or maybe seven scenarios but the main thing is bring this as a habit because once your habit is formed even once you finish play right you have to start something new right so let's start with the scenarios and I will tell you certain rules. You have to follow certain rules as a uh, as a beginner. I have a separate rules for advanced user. I have a different rules, which I will tell you at the end. As of now, just understand the requirement. What exactly I'm expecting from you. Try to dub me, uh, try to do it via Playwright with Java. But if you're doing with uh, JavaScript or Python, you can follow the same. Now, since we're following Playwright with Java series, uh, I would recommend do it with Playwright. Scenario number one is you land to this page and first thing that you need to verify is the title contains courses. Okay, learn automation courses. You should have some courses. So course count should be greater than zero. Right now you can see these are dummy courses. So even if you click on add to cart, you don't have to make payment. These are basic uh, dummy courses. So verify the courses should be greater than zero. You should have footer icons. As of now we have four, so make sure you have footer icon greater than zero. That is of scenario number one. Basic smoke check. Scenario number two, once you land to this page, click on this navigation, click on this login, and you have to verify whether you are landing on the right page. Assertion number one. Then you have to enter the credential. Credential I will give you in the comment section or in the description. It's admin at the rate email.com. Password is admin at the rate one, two, three. The moment you sign in, you have to verify the welcome message okay so if you scroll up you can see right welcome admin manager to learn automation courses verify the welcome message is coming and you can verify welcome keyword once that is done click on this do the sign out and again verify that after sign out we are getting this sign in or maybe this sign in button scenario number two scenario number three again you come to this page Verify this link is clickable, enable. The moment you click on it, now you have to create a new user. So when you enter this form, okay, for example, if I submit Mukesh Otwani, email, let me give some random email. A password is anything, let's say Selenium mail state, some random state. And now you have to select multiple hobbies. This is multi-select dropdown. The moment I click on sign up, you need to verify this sign up successfully message. Okay. Scenario number three, you will create a new user. When you create new user, radio button, checkbox is dropped down. Everything is covered. So once you're comfortable, you will notice that everything is already added in that scenario. 
verify the sign up message if that is done scenario number three these are simple scenarios you can consider smoke or regression scenarios now i'm going to show you two end-to-end -end scenarios that will bring more clarity it includes switch to windows switch to alerts how to handle multiple type of alert okay and uh, how to wait for a particular element all will be covered in these scenarios so once you're comfortable with the first three then go to fourth and fifth again log into this application and now you have to create a new course so when you put mouse over manage courses you can see we have multiple options as of now you click on add new course and now you have to create a new course for example uh, this is a file uploader so again you will understand how to upload a files how to handle calendar controls how to handle this kind of drop down for example i will create a course called dummy course description again let's say dummy course instructor as of now i will give myself price you can give let's say 10,000 this is INR select date so let's say I'm recording this video on 20th October 2024 you select the next day and this you select maybe plus one month or plus two months for example 21st of December then don't select this checkbox just verify the, whether this checkbox is unchecked or not this is a validation check select a category let's say selenium or maybe playwright now you have to choose a file so for example if i'm choosing a file this is again a validation this is a javascript alert you need to verify that if i upload any file which is more than 1 mb you should get this alert you need to accept this alert again choose a different file let me use this file and the moment i click on save you need to verify the course that we created is present here or not and verify the same course if I give dummy course it should be dummy course if I give proper course name for example uh, API testing using playwright the same text should be available click on delete again verify it has been deleted from this table once that is done do the sign out this is the fourth scenario end to end here you have, will understand file uploader web table uh, how to handle uh, javascript alerts and so on Fifth scenario, very interesting and pay attention to this. The moment you sign in, click on manage category. Notice it is opening in a new tab. So you need to switch to a new tab. If your browser setting is set to that, it will open in a new page, switch to the new window. Then click on new category. This is JavaScript alert. For example, I will give one another category called which tool is not present. Okay, let me add javascript as a language the moment i click on ok the category should be created it should be present inside this table click on update wait for five seconds and now it is asking you to update let me update this with javascript once you update verify it has been updated once that is done click on delete click on delete Again, verify it has been deleted from this manage category. And finally, come and do the sign out. These are the five scenarios. First three, very basic. Last two, end to end. But last two are the most important. If you try to complete the last two, you will get many concepts, okay? Plus, most of the scenarios will be covered. So, whenever I say verify, you need to add playwright assertion. Now, there are certain rules that you can follow. If you are just a beginner level, like you just started and now you want to finish. Uh, make sure you add assertion that I already told a test without assertion is useless if you don't add any assertion it will not be considered try to avoid thread dot sleep see that is the main advantage of playwright that it will handle the weights automatically so if you are using thread dot sleep unnecessary you are not using the proper feature of playwright right? so try to avoid thread dot sleep as much as possible and how to submit you have to push your code to github or gitlab or bitbucket whatever repository you're using here also you will understand how to push the code right so to submit as a github repository and if possible please add a readme file those who already know um, selenium cypress or you already know playwright with javascript those who understand i wanted to create a basic framework so when i say basic framework you create utilities base class reporter configuration browser factory so that you can reuse the code use one of the design pattern it's totally up to you uh, you can use page object model singleton or any other design pattern doesn't matter but use at least one design pattern 
and you have to now write all the five scenarios finally create a maven build and all your tests should get executed with one simple command called mvin clean test the moment you set test it should run your all the test and you should get one final report so try to generate one report extend report or allo report again submit as a github repository and if possible add a readme file if you want to go above this then again do cross browser testing cross platform testing that i will leave up to you but our main focus is that you should be uh, smart enough to automate start with basics once you comfortable with basic then go to advanced now once you submit this let me know in the comment section you just paste your github repository link in the comment section i will review well and i will provide the feedback and i will try to uh, create one repository where i will automate these scenarios and i will send it uh, i will either announce in the get uh, youtube videos or pin in the comment box you can go ahead and check how it works yeah so that's all about this video i hope you found it useful because see guys practice is the main part even if you write one line of code that will remember okay you can remember that code easily and trust me the programming fear that you have that will only go if you start practicing so please submit this uh, let me know if you face any issue tomorrow i will upload a new video on playwright and i will see you in the next video so please if you want to do this with a group at least have one uh, partner or accountability partner you do the pair programming you teach each other and do this uh, you know as a group activity that will give you more confidence once you're done with these five scenarios let me know if you need more scenarios i can give you another application with more scenarios so yeah that's all about today so thank you so much for watching if this video helped you in any manner then do support this channel share with your friends colleagues subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care